Hello everyone, it's me once again. So I'm sure many of you must have noticed lately that several YouTube channels are now suffering from their views to go down dramatically and I have actually been looking on this matter. And the reason I'm making this video is not trying to moan anything about anything actually. I, its main motive is trying to encourage you uh, for those who are suffering from this matter, from stressed out that oh probably my, it's not worth continuing my YouTube channel and etc you know. Um, I, unless you're the top 1% YouTuber out there uh, who seem to be consistent with their view by the way. But um, let's, let's try to explore what sort of things are going on. So this is based on my theory. Uh, so here it goes. So number one is that this coronavirus has been the root of all costs, no doubt. Um, and there's several reasons that, that I can see going on. So number one is the fact that our lifestyle has changed. In other words, normally before this whole pandemic happened, I will go to work by half past eight in the morning. I'll have a cup of coffee and I'll watch probably a few uh, YouTube videos with a nice pastry and then uh, start work around nine o'clock. And then about 12 o'clock, I'll watch some uh, other YouTube videos on my lunch break and so on and, and so on. But suddenly, I'm in a situation where I'm I'm actually locked down I need to stay at home so I could probably wake up later or maybe earlier and this whole system have actually break the balance not only myself but the rest of the people around the world who are who, who, their lifestyle has changed so that has gone with a knock-on effect of domino effect where you'll see lately that um, the like Netflix and YouTube, they are actually lowering their overall bandwidth because it, this whole thing, the way how people lifestyle change, the way how they watch YouTube and Netflix have shift towards one and another to the other side. And so that's why they're reducing the bandwidth. And listen to that carefully. That means that some of the views that were supposed to be watched in a certain matter with all this pattern with algorithm and so on has been now breaking all loose. So, and, and, and while this is happening at the same time, YouTube is giving us a notification that there's so shortage of the staff that they can't really filter the videos. Some some videos that has been raised, reporting and so on, they're just gonna shut it down. They're actually warning that because they haven't got enough staff to investigate on certain matters and, and so on. So you'll see everything has changed and so on. And But in a, in a lifestyle point of view, I'm going back to it as well. What happens to each family? Let's say you have wife or kid, husband, or whatever it is. Um, Probably you'll be now sitting down on your TV um, watching um, YouTube, but it won't be the original sort of context that you'll be watching as a habit or lifestyle. It'll be more like coronavirus pandemic uh, related subject. And YouTube must have been focusing heavily on that side as well uh, to make sure that you watch that sort of thing. But at the same time, they're doing the policing uh, of this subject as well because uh, news on and on, they're actually saying that so many people are making fake news. For example, if you inhale for 10 seconds, that's the way how you could detect whether you have a coronavirus and all these sort of things that sound convincing turned out to be a fake news and so on. So all this, they're trying to please to make sure that um, the, this whole thing are filtered out so that it's more government-based information are now um, being passed on on YouTube. So they're using an AI. That's why I mentioned it on my previous video that AI um, knowledge and AI, YouTube AI sucks because the way how it works is not really well structured in, in my own opinion. If you just mentioned the fact that it's coronavirus related video, YouTube will automatically shut it down but here in this video, I'm not talking anything about the symptoms or anything like that that is trying to be a fake news at all. I'm talking about the tech view related issues going on on YouTube itself. And I'm sure I'm also going to get this yellow um, badge or limited um, demonetization system because I mentioned the whole pandemic at the moment. So just going back to the whole thing again, while YouTube has, is shortage with staff, which they clearly stated, and they're hugely depending on the AI structure they, that they have established that is just purely on filtering out the words, keywords, and they don't really, the AI doesn't have the ability to actually understand the whole context. And that's how they're actually um, filtering out 
but also the algorithm and our lifestyle and everything has just changed. And this all started with um, coronavirus as a root. Our lifestyle has changed. What do we do now? Do we watch YouTube the way how we normally watch? Our way of watching context have changed. Our, the way how we eat must have changed. I'm sure same, same as me, some of you are actually having dinner or lunch later than what you normally do because you don't really need to rush into sleep and so on. So the root cause is coronavirus, but I think um, so many things have affected on that side and especially um, I think for t big shock um, target is that and the other thing I do want to add is that um, on YouTube side someone must have mingled with the algorithm system especially with coronavirus non coronavirus policing and so on and that just must have created a lot of chaos um, so overall what I'm trying to say is this is just going to be a temporary issue okay remember this is just going to be a few months we're all going to get over with it okay so we expect in few months time that everything's going to go back to normal as if we're, we're just going to wonder what happened in the past and we're going to f all forget about it but in the meantime stay strong don't get discouraged about this view rates going down it's all going to be okay and so i just want you guys to be more encouraged by watching this video you hear anyway so thank you very much for watching this video um i hope uh this video will help you to become a better YouTuber and much happier, positive person, okay? Anyway, hope you guys have a fantastic weekend and let's try to stay positive and avoid all the negative bad news, okay? Stay healthy, positive, all the best. Bye-bye.